morning everyone this is dr gvr shashi ro professor in the department of mechanical engineering institute of aeronautical engineering hyderabad in previous module we have discussed about bell drives in this module so i want to discuss about rope drives so in this uh, session we will see the types of rope drives and uh, design calculations of uh, rope drives the rope drives are generally used for where the large amount of power is to be transmitted from one pulley to another pulley over a considerable distance so that is uh, up to 60 meters uh, apart there only we can use rope drives rope drives use a number of circular section ropes rather than a single flat or v bell drive why because so in already we have discussed in bell drives the flat bell drives are having uh, the rectangular cross section and v bell uh, having trapezoidal cross section but in this uh, rope drives not like that only one cross section that is a circular cross section the rope drives are classified into two types one is a uh, fiber ropes and uh, second one is a uh, wire ropes first we will discuss about uh, fiber ropes then we will see wire ropes generally the ropes for transmitting power are usually made from fibrous materials like uh, hemp and uh, manila cotton these materials are having four mechanical properties so that's why these materials are does not give that much of efficiency and uh, uh, these materials are uh, not very flexible so that's why the rope drives are having limited applications so these are uh, uh, fiber ropes and uh, hemp rope and uh, manila rope uh, diagrams the second classification is uh, wire ropes so detail uh, the construction uh, of wire ropes and uh, uh, classification of wire ropes we will see in the uh, next module the general introduction of wire ropes is when a large amount of power is to be transmitted over long distances from one pulley to another pulley so that is uh, up to 150 meters apart there only the wire ropes are used in the case of uh, rope drives uh, fiber ropes only we can use uh, 50 up to 60 meters uh, apart the wire ropes are uh, when compared to the the fiber ropes lighter in weight and uh, these uh, offer silent operation so these can withstand shock loads it does not it doesn't give uh, more noise when compared to the other drives these drives are more reliable and also durable and efficiency also very high and uh, the maintenance cost is very less and uh, the cost is uh, very low see here uh, so i want to discuss some design calculations of a rope drive the design calculations uh, for rope drive is uh, uh, same as that of uh, v bell drive so why because the here the rope drives on a grooved pulley so the groove is uh, the groove angle is uh, 2 beta and r is r1 is uh, the radius of the rope so here uh, you need to calculate the driving tensions so that is uh, t1 and uh, t2 so t1 uh, already you know that is a tight side uh, sorry uh, tight side uh, um, tension and t2 is the uh, slack side tension so by calculating uh, t1 t2 use this formula the t2.3 log uh, t1 by t2 is equal to mu into theta cosecant beta so mu is already you know the coefficient of friction the between the rope and uh, groove pulley and theta is the angle of lap so that is uh, the same as uh, in flat bell drive arc of contact 
the beta is the groove angle so generally the groove angle is uh, 45 degrees so we can write this formula like this also t1 by t2 is equal to it is for of uh, mu theta cosecant beta uh, this is a uh, anti logarithms and uh, this is the base 10 so here are same uh, mu and uh, theta and uh, cosecant uh, beta beta is the half groove angle so that is uh, 22.5 degrees so we'll see one problem on this uh, rope drives so in this uh, problem uh, first uh, study the problem very carefully and then uh, apply the the design calculation of formulas the drop drive is to transmit uh, 250 kilowatts and uh, from a pulley of 1.2 meters uh, diameter so this is uh, that is a uh, fully diameter uh, given 1.2 meters and a running speed of uh, 300 rpm the speed is uh, 300 rpm and uh, the lap the lap angle is uh, 5 radians and the groove angle is 22.5 uh, degrees and 50 mm in diameter that is a uh, rope diameter and uh, the mass of the rope is 1.3 kg for meter length and the maximum full of uh, the rope rope drive is 2.2 kN. the coefficient of friction between the rope and pulley is uh, 0.3 so here he has asked uh, the number of ropes required so many number of ropes are required to uh, pull this uh, load 2.2 kN and uh, to transmit the power 250 kilowatts so how to solve this problem we will see so first write down the given data so here uh, the power is given 250 kilowatts and uh, the diameter of the pulley is 1.2 meters and uh, the rope diameter is that is in uh, terms of small uh, d 50 mm and uh, the speed is 300 rpm and the groove angle is half groove angle beta 22.5 degrees and mu is quotient of friction is 0.3 the total pull so that is the total tension 2.2 kilonewtons and the mass of the rope is 1.3 kg for meter length okay that's it now he has asked how many ropes are required to uh, transmit uh, 250 kilowatts power so first calculate velocity of the pulley so you know that uh, 5dn by, formula 5dn by 60 meters per second now substitute the given values y into d d value is uh, diameter of the pulley 1.2 meters and n is uh, 300 divided by 60 so calculate uh, this uh, equations so we will get uh, 18.85 meters per second the similarly the second one is calculate centrifugal tension so why because here uh, the mass rope has given 1.3 kg per meter so that's why definitely some amount of centrifugal tension will act on this uh, drive so this is uh, mv square so mass is uh, 1.2 kg and velocity already we calculated uh, value this substitute in this uh, so you will get the tc is equal to 462 newtons so next one is use this formula so that is a uh, tight side uh, tension t1 is equal to t minus uh, tc as so always uh, the the maximum tension will be possible at a uh, tension side so that is a uh, tight side so that is a uh, t1 so now total tension already has given 2.2 kN convert into newtons minus the centrifugal uh, uh, tension that is uh, 462 newtons so we will get uh, t1 
17.38 newtons. So immediately calculate T2. So how do you calculate T2 by using this uh, equation T1 by T2 is equal to mu theta into cosec beta. So in this uh, already you know mu 0.3 and theta is 5 and uh, cosec beta is 22.5 degrees. So substitute all these values and uh, calculate T1 by T2 ratio. So T1 by T2 you will get 11.8 so next uh, fifth one find out uh, t2 t2 is equal to t1 by 11.8 t1 already we calculated so t1 uh, 1738 divided by 11.8 so we will get t2 is 1473 newtons so now we have t1 and uh, t2 value so immediately calculate power required for a rope that is t1 minus t2 into v so substitute uh, the t1 value and uh, t2 value t1 value 1738 and t2 147.3 multiply with 18.85 uh, so we will get uh, the power transmission transmitted 29.985 kilowatts so this is a power uh, uh, power transmitted for uh, row so now calculate the number of uh, uh, ropes required number of ropes required is equal to total power transmitted divided by power transmitted for for single row so here you know the total power uh, transmitted is it has given 250 kilowatts convert into watts 250 by 250 into 10 cube the power transmitted for row so already in calculated in a previous step so that is 29.985 kilowatts so convert into watts so we will get uh, the number of rows 8.34 so you can say 9 the total number of uh, ropes required 9 to transmit the 250 kilowatts so, so like this uh, we have to solve the, the rope driver problem so I have taken uh, these are the references thank you like share and subscribe hit the bell icon for more updates